हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मिसेज ज्ञान कुमार जी छा जे पी एच डी रिसर्च स्कॉलर बी वी डी यू सी ओ ई पुणे प्रेजेंटिंग द पेपर इन द फोर्थ इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन बिग डेटा इनोवेशन फॉर सस्टेनेबल कॉग्नेटिव कंप्यूटिंग ऑन द टॉपिक डेटा हाइडिंग इन बाइनरी इमेजेस फॉर सीक्रेट एंड सिक्योर कम्युनिकेशन यूजिंग डिसीजन फ्री I am working under the guidance of Dr. Bindu Gurg Madam. The introduction of my topic. Nowadays, digital media has become daily need. Documents, transaction details, medical images, etc., are generally transferred frequently as a binary picture images. Authentication of such digital content is very important. Usually, watermarks are embedded in these digital images to prove their authenticity or originality. Achieving invisible watermarking is possible by hiding watermark details in cover media in such a way that it is unnoticed visible to human visual system. Similarly, for secret communication, steganography, secret data hiding is usually a common way that is it will be not noticeable to anybody else than the communicators that is sender and receiver most of the research for watermarking in steganography is on color or gray scale images where pixels can have 256 values for each rgb colors and 250 val six values respectively so we get many uh, range of pixel values for hiding information and by changing a shade little bit doesn't make any visual distortion for the viewer of that system in some images in such images pixel values are modified in such a way that changes are not easily visible this property of human visual system needs to be maintained for even the binary images but in binary images the pixels can have only two values and hiding high capacity data without causing visual distortion is a great challenge so the key idea in binary image to achieve this is to identify areas of the picture that would be utilized as much as possible to hide data so that less number of pixels are required to be changed the literature is surveyed to know the different data hiding techniques in binary images so usually it is happening in two domains one is a spatial domain embedding in this spatial domain embedding the pixels are updated they are changed to hide the information or to hide the data so different techniques uses like text line or word or character shifting and that difference of uh shifting represents the hidden data fixed partitioning of images here the blocks are used and in these blocks the images of the images the data is hidden the boundary modifications because this boundary is plays very important role to hide the data and it will be less uh noticeable modification of character features modification of run lens advantages of such type of embedding is this method has a good data hiding capacity second if an image is found to be fraudulent the owner of the secret key can spatially locate the alternation to help discovering the intentions of the hacker the visual quality is excellent limitation of such uh, data hiding techniques is and not robust to printing and scanning in transform domain different transformations are used like uh, discrete cosine transformation discrete wavelet transformation etc the advantage of this uh, transform domain data hiding is for images these are the lower frequencies which can be marked directly for a transform domain approaches adopted transform domain techniques are robust again the attacks transform domain techniques have good computational efficiency the problem statement the problem with the data hiding schemes in binary images is they introduce visual distortion have limited hiding capacity have security and robustness issues 
To solve this problem, research is done to develop novel data hiding scheme for hiding with high data hiding capacity in binary images with minimized distortion. The proposed data hiding model. In the proposed data hiding model, we are using 3x3 three three pixel blocks. So a novel approach to hide data in a 3x3 three three pixel block is proposed here. In this model, the left, right, up and down, which is shortly said as LRUD pixel patterns of 3x3 three three pixel block is used to hide 4-bit information. Usually in many techniques which are using such 3x3 three three pixel box blocks, they are hiding one or two bits in a block, but in this uh, novel approach, we are hiding four bit of information in one block. It focuses on the selection of suitable blocks for hiding in such a way that it will introduce less distortion, providing high hiding capacity. The novelty of this model is lying in the utilization of a trending decision tree for selecting suitable blocks in images for hiding four bits information. To hide these four bits, the suitability of the block needs to be judged. For this judgment, the decision tree is utilized. So, as it is shown in this picture, the 3x3 three three pixel block is used and the locations of these pixels are nominated as LURD and the pattern LRUD is utilized to hide the 4-bit information and whether this block is suitable for hiding or not is identified with the help of this indicator bits which are nominated here as IB1, IB2, IB3 and IB4. So if the LRUD pattern is matching with the supplied 4 bits and the corner 4 pixels have black and white pixel count as 40, 04 or 22, then that indicates the block is an indicator block and is suitable for embedding without flipping any pixel. So here without changing any pixel we are trying to hide 4 bits. If only LRUD pattern matches and does not satisfy the criteria for indicator block, then it is said it is a non-indicator block. As shown in figure, the indicator bit pattern is 100 in this case. So this is 1000. So white flag, uh, pixels are no, uh, notifying 0 value while 1 is notifying the 1 value. So the pattern for this indicator bit is 1000 which has a black and white pixel count as 1 and 3 which is a non-indicator block. So if the LRUD pattern is 1010 1, 0, like 1 this is 1010 0, 1, 0, and if the decision tree selects the image part having this block pattern then one white pixel needs to be flipped so that black and white pixel count will become 2,2. And will be converted to an indicator block. So if this block is suitable for hiding the bits 1010. So since LRUD pattern is matching. We need to make this non-indicator block to indicator block. So uh, in this technique we have also tried to have the difficulty in getting the information in which blocks the information is hidden. So for that purpose we are first dividing whole image into four parts like B1, B2, B3, B4 where each part is having the set of the 3x3 three three pixel blocks. So this image is divided in such a way that every block is containing same number of the 3x3 three three pixel blocks. Similarly, we are taking the input bits and this input bits are also divided into four parts like M1, M2, M3, M4 message parts. Then each message part is further divided into four bit groups like this. So these four bit groups are needed to be embedded in one 3x3 three three pixel blocks. Now in proposed data hiding model we are using the decision tree which gives us information about which block is suitable for hiding the particular message block. So uh, the idea is we are passing the message block 4 bit message block. Now this 4 bit message block first block is checked in B1 and B2. 
so if we take the total matching that is the indicator bits are also okay uh, satisfying the criteria as well the lrud pattern is matching then such blocks are nominated as the suitable blocks but if the lrud pattern is matching and indicator bits are not matching then they are nominated as partial match blocks now if for in b1 block we are getting the partial matching then we are also looking for b2 block in b2 block we are again finding whether we are getting a suitable block which is matching with lrud pattern as well as the indicator bits so if we get it then we embed the message m1 that is four bits into b2 block otherwise if we get partial matching as well in the b2 then in that case we choose the b1 block for embedding the message m1 so this uh, leaf nodes are representing the suitable block in which the given m1 message is to be embedded now since m1 first message and first block there is no predecessor block here only we are checking with the similar that is b1 and the successor block while if the block is m2 and m3 we are also looking for the predecessor and the successor block so predecessor in the sense for adding m2 message we are checking in b2 as well as b1 as well as b3 and out of these three blocks whichever is suitable we are embedding our second message four bits so likewise we are embedding information four bit information in suitable block so this decision whether the current block is suitable or its predecessor or successor is given by the decision tree so this is the novelty of this uh, particular paper now here is the process of embedding and extraction so in this embedding we are taking the image we are dividing it into 3 by 3 blocks we are partitioning the image horizontally then we are identifying unique lrud pattern in selected partitions then we are preparing indicator block so this will be the one way which is that is with this path we are providing lrud pattern and block information another way we are taking the input data to be hidden that is called message we are encrypting it first with the help of key which is shared between sender and receiver then we are passing this message to uh this encrypted message we are preparing the message block four bit message blocks we are providing message block in sequence for embedding to decision tree so now decision tree has the information of image blocks as well as the four bit message uh, pattern now decision tree gives the decision in which block is it is to be embedded and accordingly the message is embedded in the image block which is decided by decision tree and finally we are getting image with the hidden message in the extraction process we are getting image with hidden data we are again dividing image into the 3 by 3 blocks we are partitioning the image horizontally in number of blocks then we are locating indicator block and from indicator block we are get, taking the encrypted message block from lrud patterns and then we are decrypting that lrud pattern message blocks with the help of the shared key and we are getting original message now this is the algorithm the same process which we have discussed earlier divide the image into four parts b1 b2 b3 b4 where each block having equally distributed 3 by 3 pixel blocks get the data to be hidden called message and convert it into a binary stream get the length of message bit stream and append this length to the message bit stream to uh, extract the exact amount of information which is hidden represent above bit stream in multiples of 4 bits and clip data with a shared key get the encrypted message to be hidden called message and uh, divide it into four parts as m1 m2 m3 m4 where each message block has group of 4 bits as shown in the figures pass group of 4 bits one by one to decision tree for all message parts in sequential order get decision about the selection of block for embedding each group it is, if it is selected to suitable indicated as s path then embed in that block without any flipping and it is indicated block 
else if selected to partial suitable that is indicated as p path then flip one pixel so that it will become an indicator block check the first occurrence of the unique lrud pattern block and if matching with message four bit pattern convert it into indicator indicator block now decision tree algorithm so uh, for the decision tree uh, decision get the partition image in four parts with equally distributed 3 by 3 pixel block get matching bit grouped in four bits check how m1 is matching with the lrud pattern of 3 by 3 block in b1 if m1 is fully matched with lrud pattern of 3 by 3 block in b1 then b1 is selected else we have to check it for the next block that is b2 same way for b2 we have to check for b2 and b3 and b1 so likewise as i have discussed earlier the decision al tree algorithm works extraction algorithm so divide the image into four parts as b1 b2 b3 b4 where each block is having equally distributed 3 by 3 pixel block check the indicator bits for the first occurrence of unique lrud pattern block and get the patterns that are the part of hidden message locate indicator block and extract hidden message in groups of four bits from lrud pattern decrypt extracted encrypted message and get the length of the message extract message based on indicator bits from all blocks combine extracted bits and get hidden message bit stream provided for other message blocks m3 and m4 so the performance of this technique is checked with the help of uh, normally used uh, matrix that is psnr pixel to noise ratio and peak signal to noise ratio and the mean square error so the experiments are conducted on on set of images where the results are presented for uh, standard image baboon lena and other three images which are taken from different papers now the image sizes are written here the total pixels are here and dpi is used uh, 96 now message size is of 56 bits now when we have uh, tried to embed this 56 by, uh, message bits we identified that the number of pixels change depends on the patterns available in different images this is a msc value which we have got and this is a psnr now the results are shown here so these images are the original images while these are the flipped images uh, which is having hidden message this particular graph shows the number of bits versus number of flipped pixels to hide the data so 56 bits of data is hidden by flipping only 15 bits in the first images likewise so these red bars are indicating the flip pixel count and blue bars are indicating the number of bits which are hidden to conclusion in this work we have introduced novel approach of decision uh, tree usage for hiding data in binary images it collectively provides the benefit of high hiding capacity with security of hidden data and minimize distortion decision tree used for selecting suitable block for hiding four bits which matches lrud pattern of 3 by 3 pixel block from the experimental results we have achieved minimum distortion in image by embedding four bits information in a block further we applied encryption for providing security and also scattered information over image for increasing difficulty in extraction of information by unauthorized users future work so various ways can be adopted to match block patterns with information bits to get more choice for maximum matching which may reduce distortion and increase capacity it can be applied for the watermarking and stenography there are different references which are used in this particular technique development thank you